Hi, my name is Christian Vidal. I'm from AppSense. I'm part of the pre-sales team here in Northern Europe. Um, and today, I just want to uh, cover off uh, how our hiving techniques and even personalization server um, is not a data jail, and that indeed can be read by standard Microsoft regedit tools and even Notepad, um, depending on the way you export out. So what I'm going to show here today is um, us hiving out some settings using what we call legacy method. Uh, so using uh, registry hiving, import, export, um, and then also um, taking settings out of personalization server quite easily. Um, so it not being a, a vendor lock-in or a data jail, as some would say, um, but showing that quite easily get these settings out and back into a Microsoft format if you ever need to do so. So here we have my configuration. You can see on a process start trigger that uh, if I run Notepad, I'm going to export out by default um, the control panel area. I'm going to export that out and if we just look at that I'm going to do a replace. So this dictates the format of the file so when I do a replace it makes it binary and if I look at the other action obviously same part of the registry I'm actually going to do a merge which puts it out as an ASCII file um, and we can just give that file a name so .reg in this case. So, I just want to show that here is the area where my user is going to write to. So, it's basically the equivalent of a H drive share. Um, nothing in here now. So, let's just write these in. Again, just run Notepad. So, Notepad will run. There we go. If we go back into the shared area for the user, you can see I've created those two files. So, there's my binary file and there's my ASCII file. Um, so, let's just open this up. So, let's edit that. And you can see that it's been dumped out, Windows Registry Editor. Um, and you can see I can open that notepad. So it's the ASCII format. And of course, if I double click on that, then it will ask me if I want to add that into the registry uh, for my current user. But I don't want to do that, obviously. So with the binary file, again, this is in Microsoft format. Obviously, we can't read this natively um, by double clicking on it. But what I can do is come straight into RegEdit. Here I have come into Users and load in a hive. Um, so this is where we can load in mandatory profiles or anything in a, in a proper Microsoft native format. So I'm going to click on the file that's been generated, open it up, give it a name, call it demo, and there you go. And as you can see, it's all the settings that I've captured out. So obviously by doing the hiving method, it means we can open and manipulate and uh, save off different settings within the user's registry if we need to. Um, now, obviously, something that's always been called into question is obviously personalization. So, what I'm going to do is connect into my personalization server. So, let's do that now. So I'm going to connect in. There we go. Okay, so let's do a personalization analysis. So, there's different options you have to export settings out. Um, so within the personalization analysis tool, let's just bring up our user. So here's the same user account um, and we store two different types of settings in personalization server. So we store file and we store registry. Uh, so registry is quite straightforward. I can come into the registry I've captured for this application for the user. I can pick a part I want to take out for this particular application. So let's take the office and then in file I can export. So let's export it out. Again, it comes out as a file, as an ASCII file. So let's call it Office. Save that. Done. So as you can see, if I edit this again, standard ASCII formats can be imported directly into RegEdit. So we can just export all these all out. And then you could force feed them in another way. So obviously using RegEdit slash S to get those settings into user profile if you wish to. Now also the other piece of data we keep uh, within personalization is file. Uh, so obviously I can come into my users area. Again, we use personalization uh, to make sure that we don't have to do folder redirection or manual syncs if we don't want to um, for the user profile. So I've got my custom dictionary here. Again, I can just right click on that file, export it. I can export it out straight to the area. And if we come back in, you can see there's my custom dictionary there. Now obviously doing these mainly through the console is quite nice, but if I need to do this um, for a couple of users or I want to script it to automate it or something like that, then we actually do provide the tools um, that come down with the software. So we have two tools that do this. Um, so if we look in the AppSense consoles, 
the scene environment manager you'll have the environment manager tools and we have two tools here so we have the emp file utility for import deletion and export of files and we have the registry utility for the same sort of manipulation um, so these are command line tools uh, quite easy to use uh, as part of uh, a script if you want to uh, if you need more information on how to use them be quite easily found if you go into if you download the AppTense software go into the guides area you'll see the EM administrative tools guide if we open that up what you'll see is that I have a file re usage reference for my MP file utility um, and all different keys so I can export so I can automate all this completely um, and same with the registry as well so again I can automate this all completely I can export out files back in straight into the profile I can export out registry settings for the user to dot register then be imported so everything we do isn't locked in uh, it can be quite easily exported out and put directly into the profile uh, without any problem and obviously as I've shown that also with the hiving technique that we can obviously these are in a native format straight away thanks very much for your time I hope this has been educational thank you